welcome to my channel. Today's recipe, we're making refried beans. Now this is a revised video. Uh, I made this about five years ago and back then I was using corn oil. Now, those of you that want to avoid GMOs are probably gonna to wanna to watch this video because we're not gonna use corn oil, we're gonna use extra light olive oil, which is much healthier and it's designed for sauteing and baking and frying and that kind of thing. So I'm also gonna show you how to flavor your oil so that it makes your refried beans taste amazing. And I came across this from another video that I was making for a Spanish omelet and I suggest really that you try that one out and check that one out yourself as well. But I got the idea from, from that video on how to flavor the oil in such a way that is so much healthier and I think you're gonna love it. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. So let's go over real quick the ingredients for our recipe. First up, we have our pinto beans. Now these are dried beans that I picked up in a package at the store. And we're gonna, I'll show you how to go through and clean them and get them ready for cooking. We'll need some extra light olive oil. Now this olive oil, as I mentioned, is perfect for sauteing and frying and baking because it has less of an olive oil taste. So that's gonna make it perfect for this recipe. Now, here's my sort of secret ingredient is an onion. And we'll need one of those. I already peeled that and uh, I'll show you how we're gonna cut it up. We'll need some salt and some garlic powder. I have granulated garlic here, so um, that's all we need. So to start off our recipe, we're gonna start cleaning our beans. So we're gonna pour them out onto a cutting board or any flat surface really, and we're gonna go through them because guess what? Beans have rocks in them or they can have rocks in them. And you wanna get those out of there because it wouldn't be much fun to bite into a rock. So you just wanna sort through them real quick. It doesn't take a lot of time. Now these beans look pretty clean. I don't see any rocks. I don't even see any beans that look like they shouldn't belong in here. So, well, maybe this one here. Now we're gonna fill this pot with some water and we're gonna rinse them out. So just put a little water in here and then just drain it out. Now some people like to soak their beans overnight, that's fine, you can do that, um, but I'm not gonna do that today. It will shorten the cooking time probably by a half an hour, so um, it's something you might wanna consider. So I'm gonna fill the pot about three quarters of the way full. So I'm gonna put the temperature, I'm gonna put it on high. I want this to come to a boil right away. And I'm gonna put a lid on it to help speed up that process. Now I want you to take note that the only thing that's in the beans right now is the water, right? We're not gonna add any spices, salt, any garlic, oil, anything until they've softened up. And that's gonna take anywhere between an hour and a half to two hours. And you'll also notice you want those beans to change color. Right now they're pretty light in color and they're gonna get a darker brown. And that's what we're looking for. So it does take time for that to happen. So while the beans are cooking away, we're gonna go ahead and cut up our onion and flavor our oil. So I'm just gonna cut this into some big chunks. It doesn't, it's not really that important, the size of it. So this is how we're gonna cook the onion. I have about a 10 and a half inch frying pan right here. And I'll put that on, uh, we'll start with medium heat. And I'm gonna pour the olive oil into the pan. And if I have too much olive oil and I don't use it all in my beans, I will save it for future refried beans because we make them pretty regularly. And I want enough oil in here to sort of submerge my onions. So we wanna get the oil up to a, you know, probably about 350 degrees or so. We want it to be hot before we add our onions. Now, briefly back to the beans. I can tell now they're starting to boil. So once they come to a boil, as they are here, we're gonna take the lid off and cook them the rest of the way without a lid. That way the water will evaporate. I do want some of that water to cook down. All right, I believe the oil is hot enough now. One way to test it is to take an onion and place it in there. If you see a bubble up like that, then you know it's ready. When you're adding the onions to the oil, please be really careful and do it gently. You can see I'm using a spoon here and I'm just gonna set them in. And now we're just gonna cook this until the onions are caramelized and they turn a nice golden brown. Now I wanna mention guys, 
something just as a precaution is that when you're cooking hot oil, like I am right here, and I have some water boiling over here, you want to make sure that that water does not make its way into that pan because then you will have probably a flash fire. That happened to me one time a long time ago and uh, it will never happen again. So just be aware of that, okay? So the onions have been cooking 20 minutes. That looks really good to me. You see all of that caramelization going on. I'm gonna turn off the heat now and I'm gonna place these onions, I'm gonna drain them as much as I can and place them into my little dish here before we pop them into the blender. I'm gonna let them cool for just a few minutes. So here's what we're gonna do with these beautiful caramelized onions. We're gonna place them in the blender and I'm gonna add just enough water to make them um, liquefy. Now this is what we want our onions to look like. I want them to be completely pureed so that you don't even know that they're in the beans except for the beautiful flavor that they give. All right, folks, uh, the beans have been cooking now for two hours in just water, and this is really important. I want you to look at this. I want you to see how dark the liquid is now. It's like, you know, just dark brown. The beans themselves are dark brown. You want to see that. You don't, you don't want the beans just to be soft, but you want to see this color change because that's when you get the best flavor. All right, so now we are ready to start adding our oil, which I poured right here into a container so that it'd make it easy for me to pour into. Well, let's start off with our onion mixture that we pure, pureed in the, in the blender. Let's toss that in. Next, I'm gonna add the oil. Guys, I don't usually measure, I just kinda guess, but I'm gonna, well, let's see here. We've got, we've got about a cup and a half of oil. So I'm probably gonna put a cup in there. And I'm gonna add some of that garlic. I like garlic, so I'm gonna go a little heavy on the garlic. And then salt, salt's super important. You've gotta make sure you get enough salt in there and we're gonna, I'm gonna be testing these, tasting them after they've cooked for a while. Now these beans are gonna cook some more and they're gonna cook another, you know, half an hour to, 45 minutes to an hour, it just depends. What I'm looking for is for them to start to stick on the bottom of the pan, believe it or not. Because the longer they simmer, the better they're gonna taste. So I'm cranking my heat up. I wanna bring this to a nice good boil and then I'll turn it back down again to let it simmer. There'll be no lid on this at all. We're just gonna let it simmer. That way the, the liquid will cook and evaporate. Some of it will come out and these beans will thicken up. All right, so our beans are done. Now when, you, uh, cook, when you're cooking your beans, make sure you turn the, the heat off of them before you mash them, otherwise they might burn. Now I cooked these as long as I could, which after we put all the oil and the spices in, you wanna cook them as long as you can so that those flavors can really develop in there. And you'll know because they start to stick. They just start getting, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but they just start to stick. That's your cue. Turn off the heat and give them a mash. All right, so now that we're done mashing, mash them to your liking and then serve them up and enjoy them. Delicious stuff, guys. Add a little cheese if you like, right on top. And uh, I'll go for a little taste. Only they're pretty hot. Fantastic flavor, guys, really. These are delicious. You're gonna love that onion when it's caramelized like that. It sweetens it up. It gives it this rich, deep flavor. You're gonna love it. You're not gonna miss any lard or anything else. These are, these are really good. And don't forget to save any leftover oil that you have from your beans. Let's say you don't use it all like I didn't use all mine. Definitely save it, put it in a mason jar or any other glass container, seal it up and it will stay good for quite a while. And you can reuse it again for the next batch of beans that you make.
If you enjoyed the video, click the like button, share it, and leave me a comment. I always love hearing from you guys, getting some feedback, whether or not you like the videos, and of course, any recipe requests you, you have, I'd love to hear that too. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. We'd love to have you. So thanks again for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.